Um, like I said, I don't know where I was going with this. I really didn't. I just came out in the spirit, and I was just going with the flow. And um, I kind of lost train of thought. I looked at a verse, and I'm like, wow. But um, we are working. Out, oh, okay, God, this came back. We're working out our salvation. We're working it out, man. We out here. We want to get fucking. We want to not fucking saved, but we want to get saved, man. We want the king to come back, man. And it's going to hurt, man. It's going to hurt. It's going to really be some serious pain because people got to die. You think this, this COVID-19 shit is like some ultimate shit? Oh, COVID-19, the Delta variant. So, like, yeah, you know, they might ban the video, but, hey, you think they making this shit as they go along? This place is wicked, man. There's nothing good about this place, bro. All right, so the whole thing is, is this is why we're working on our salvation with fear and tremble so your how much amount of could protect us, man. You know? That's where this labor of love coming from. That, that's why we tend to life. And we tend to the life we tend to is the flock. What they don't want you to do, they don't want you to tend to the Lord's flock. See, they want you to worry about them too. When the Lord said, don't worry about the wicked, he said, he's saying don't worry about those that sin. He definitely ain't worried about the wicked motherfuckers. He's not wicked. He's not worried about these wicked people. And they no good. They act. They got this thing in their mind that they're doing the right thing. But deep down inside, the they know they're they wicked and evil people. And so they look at you, your dark skin, and they say, "Oh, you're not no good." No, no. Let's check. Let's check. The, let's check the, the, the track record. Slavery, going to other countries, killing people for resources. What are you talking about? Who does this? Oh, remember, remember um, McCain said, this, this bombed them. This bomb, 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 a bomb, bomb, Iran. No, you're terrified of these people because you know what you've done. All right? You know what you've done. You know what you've done to these people. So now you terrified what they're going to do to you. That's why they're cutting videos off. This is why they um they saying that oh no they the bad guy no you're the bad guy you're the bad guy there's no way in hiding it that's why when you go they got Planned Parenthood in the hood they got they got liquor stores drug they they, they give guns they put guns in the, in the hoods of the of the of the people that slumber that's poor so you can kill them. That, that, you ever heard those sayings uh, on those videos? Uh, put Planned Parenthood in this neighborhood. I'm going to donate so these kids, they don't make their babies. They, they abort their babies. they doing this. There's videos of recordings of these people doing these things. But you two-thirds is stuck on fucking stupid. Okay. So this is what we're doing. We're putting that work in so we can inform, witness. We're witness to this. We're witness to this wicked society, man. And we're not gonna we're not gonna sugarcoat shit for nobody. That's what we're not supposed to do. All right, hold on. I was about to read the verse, right? All right, hold on. I, I really didn't have another plug. I did have something, but I don't, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to go a different direction right now. Just in the spirit right now. I'm just out here. Because I came outside. Was, I left the house. You know, it's the Sabbath right now. I was, just, I was pissed off. I, the only thing that makes me feel comfortable, feel me comfort me, is doing this will. But y'all watching me out shot. All right, Romans chapter 2, verse 7. And this is what it's about. Doing the right thing. If you do righteousness is immortal, bro. Righteousness is immortal. Regardless of what these people are saying, wickedness is death. You wicked, you die. That's why they know they they, they scared of death. So what they do, they always take the people. They they do this shit. Um um how many how many how heart transplants did um David Rock David Rothschild? He's Rothschild, David Rockefeller. How many heart plants did he had? He had um, I don't know, tons of them shits. Take people hearts. Cause they're scared of death, but he's gone now in the spirit. He might be still alive somewhere. And they might have some new technology. You don't know what you got right now. That's why the Lord Yahweh Shem Shah gotta get back and, and, and get rid of this place. Right? Romans chapter 2, verse 7. 
To them whom by patience continuing in well doing seek the glory and honor and immortality, immortality eternal life, man. We seek an eternal life. These people, this place is death. You're not going to get eternal life here. There is, if it wasn't no such a word, it wouldn't be such a thing. There is a search, it's a certain word in immortality. That means somebody is living for right now, somebody's gonna get the power to live forever, to never die. That's why they say righteousness, righteousness is immortal. <clears throat> Alright? They said when a righteous bear rule, the, the people mourn. When the righteous bear rule, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. Why this place is so wicked? Why is it so much wicked that people are mourning all the damn time? There's so much death out here. People are just killing themselves. But when you the bad guy, when you speak about it. They're not good people, man. The, the, the ones that run the, the society right now is not good people. They're faking the funk. And they would love... They would love for this to happen. They would love for the military to come in and take you Negroes and Spanish and Native Americans down. And then they, and look, these people out here, the, the, rest, the rest of the nations, starting with the Edomites, they would love to be back on top of you. They don't like that you're the best sports players. They don't like that you're the, um, the best everything. You're the best of everything. They hate it. But in back of your mind, you think that... that uh, that this is we should all supposed to be together. Bullshit. That's not what the scripture said. The scripture says, though hand join the hand, the wicked will not go unpunished. There's wickedness out here living. Living amongst righteousness. The scripture speaks about that. I forgot what that verse is at. It's in Ecclesiastes. I forgot what chapter that is, but we we, we dwell on the earth together. Uh, let's read this real fast. Let's get a little something sound out of this. This is uh, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. Whatsoever, whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. He's going to reap what he sowed, man. And it's going to be glorious, man. You know, I say this all the time. It's going to hurt, man. It's going to hurt. I, I, you know, when you think about it, you know. But, hey, it's going to hope for it. It's going to be a moment. That pain is going to be a moment. Boom, it's over. Damn. Fly. Flies flying over the place. All right. Should have brought some peppermint with me. No. Uh, but, yeah. So, we're here now, to, we're here to witness this. We're here to witness what, what is going on around us, man. And, hey, hey, this is, like I always say, I say this all the time, this is why this is happening. Because you know why this is happening? So we won't be doing the same thing. We are learning not to be like them. We are learning not to be wicked. That's what's happening. There's a little, see, when we, when, we, when, we were, when we was in the Garden of Eden, we knew right, but we had to learn wrong. So it was a learning process. Because remember, it was, you know, it was 7,000 years. The 7,000 years we rest, the Lord rests from making everything. But now, for all these generations, man, that's a lot of, that's a lot of years, man. The Lord was, was, was put to death 2,000 years ago. He resurrected. Now he's sitting up there in, in the ultimateness by the, by the king, by the father. And he's setting up, he's setting up, he's setting it up for us. And it's already prepared. It's already, the kingdom's already prepared. And now, it, now it's time for the takeover. Take over the earth. It's time to take over the earth. Man, gnats out here, bro. It's like, yeah, it's a lot. Right? Galatians chapter, Galatians chapter 6, verse 7. Be not deceived, Yahweh is not mocked. For whatsoever man soweth that shall he also reap. For he for he that soweth. Yeah, that was the point. Uh, that was the point on that. Because these people are gonna reap what they sow, bro. I'm not gonna go into um the rest, but that was the point on that. 
These people gonna reap what they sow, you know? Which, which rightfully so, bro, because we, we, when we did the Yahweh Bashim Shah, we reap what we sow. So now it's time for them, you know? It's time for them to reap it. In righteousness, we're gonna do this in righteousness. We're not gonna do it, um, Yeah, so we're not gonna we we not gonna um we did we did what we did wrong. So the Yahweh Shem is a, we accomplished what we did to Yahweh Shem We accomplished our ass whooping. So now it's time to give them an ass whooping. Okay. First Thessalonians chapter one verse three. Remember without ceasing your work and of faith and labor of love and patience of hope. In our Yahweh, in our I don't want Yahweh Shah Mashiach, okay. In the sight, in the sight of Yahweh and our Father, okay. In, in the sight of the power in our Father, you know everybody, everybody's watching, cause we're on YouTube and it's vast right now. So we are not supposed to forget what we have done. We are not supposed to stop. We was to keep going, man. You know. Hey, I was just out here just trying to get one in, man. Like, I wasn't really, like, I didn't have no, no topic or nothing. I've been mostly rolling in the spirit, bro. I want to know, because, you know, you got you know, you know, to see the Lord's dealing with you, man. I want to know. You know? So we're not going to forget our labor of love. So we're working our own salvation with fear and tremble. Which I want to read that verse, because the apostles brought that verse. So this is where this came from. So, all right, I'm going to read this verse. How about how the video will stay on? Um, Philippians chapter 2, verse 12. Wherefore, my beloved, as ye have also, all, always obeyed, not as in my presence only, but much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and tremble. You should be terrified that you have a that, that you, that, 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 that whatever's going on around you, that the Lord is protecting you, man. Work out your salvation, man. Do the will of Yahweh Shemal Shah. Cause trust me, you got angels watching, man. You, I, yo, being more and more in this in this truth, you're gonna find out the Lord. You can feel the presence of spirits. You feel the presence, man. They out here. The angels is watching. Demons is watching. The the all types of spirits is watching. Just, just all types of madness going on, man. But right now we at the Yahweh Shemel Shah is watching. All prayers and honor and glory to God, the Abba Shemel Shah, by Shemel Dash, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah for giving us the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah for perfection, and the Wadi Abba Shemel Shah for all our issues we have and it's cleansing us, man. Yabba Shemel Shah, by Shemel Shah, by Shemel Dash, Wa Abba Bo.